Lee, we're talking about talking, keeping lines of communication open with your kids. She uses emojis. A lot of emojis. I hate it when she uses emojis. Really? I like it. Not. Twin teens Talia and Eli know what to expect from their mom when they get home from school. Really hey guys, how was school? <laughs> eh. But mom Nicole Sandler knows the conversation doesn't end there. Typically, how was your day? And I get the usual, it was fine, but I'm pretty famous for asking a lot of questions. And she'll poke at it more. She'll be like, yeah, did you learn anything new? Uh, was anything in particular exciting? And I realized that by when they came home from school, if I could ask about a specific friend or a teacher, they would open up and provide, you know, and, and provide more answers and tell me a little bit more beyond just what they had for lunch or what happened at recess that day. So it's been a gradual um, process. So you got your schedules all taken care of. I mean, if you want to know what's happening in high school, you really need to ask questions. Dr. Depesh Navsaria of UW School of Medicine stresses the importance of having regular talks with kids about how school is going. Now, that can be tricky. You don't want it to be an interrogation. And the older the child, the more it can feel like an interrogation. He says even if teens seem annoyed or uninterested, the conversations contribute to a healthy relationship and an open line of communication. So on one hand, they want to be independent, right? Their brains are rewiring. Around, I'm independent. I'm figuring out who I am. I'm making these social connections. I'm doing my own thing. And on the other hand, there's a part of their brain saying, help, I need my parents to make sure everything's going to be OK. He says the key is knowing when to hold off on the questions, and that's something Nicole Sandler and her twins agree with. I mean, when you're in school all day for seven hours, surrounded by people, like, talking to people whether you want to or not, sometimes when you come home and, you know, there's nothing particular that day that was worth talking about, it's the last thing you want to do is, like, sit and talk. Sometimes they'll just say, I really don't want to talk about it right now, and I respect that. I care. I just want to know what's happening with my kids. And I think that it just um, allows for just a stronger relationship all along, you know, as they move through the school years. I think she just cares and she wants to be involved. She wants to know what we're doing, know what our school day is life more than just it's fine. Now to recap some of Dr. Navsaria's advice for talking to your kids about school, ask questions that can't be answered with a simple yes or no, like who did you spend time with today or what's your favorite class so far? Also, try to make it a conversation, not an interrogation. Dr. Navsaria suggests talking over a family meal. And if your kids don't feel like talking, hold off on the conversation and find a better time. He says most school situations don't need interventions, but if you feel the need to intervene, you can contact a school counselor or a teacher. If you have more questions, you can check out the UW Health Kids blog or the American Academy of Pediatrics at healthychildren.org.